guess we could chat for a minute um just about what i've been up to the last couple of weeks i've been active on like tiktok and stuff but honestly like not that much i've just have been a little bit uninspired and not really having anything i've literally just been like going to the gym and doing stuff around my house and like cleaning stuff out like i cleaned out my closet and like decorating for fall like that type of stuff really nothing crazy hanging out with my dogs um just because i wanted to like fully take a break we went to boston for my birthday a couple weeks ago i got a facial like I just did a bunch of me stuff and it was a great time and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit sad to be starting work because I've enjoyed my time off so much like I thought I would be bored and like not want to do anything and some days were like that um, but most days I was like just having a good time you know I was like went to a lot of my husband's volleyball games um, and yeah, I just had a really good time. So I'm kind of sad to be starting work if I'm completely honest. Um, but I am excited for like, you know, getting to meet everybody and kind of learning more about what I'm going to be doing and like my position. Obviously, I'm excited to like be a nurse practitioner. Um, I've said this before, but I'm starting as a nurse. I started my credentialing process on my birthday so september 30th so it's been a couple of weeks it was a bunch of paperwork you guys it was so annoying like i think i entered my last all of my jobs for the last seven years and all of my addresses for the last seven years at least three times you have to get like a bunch of your like malpractice insurance because i had to have malpractice insurance in np school so um i had to get copies of all of that and then it was just a lot of paperwork so i started that it says on there that it typically takes 60 days but i was told that it typically takes hold on, that it typically mm -hmm. takes 90 days so i'm just making some breakfast i also have the, here show our the powerpoint going on generation which generation is this is like the best team. part about working from working um, from home is being able to like do stuff while I'm still like getting paid. So I'm making breakfast tacos. The final product is this not look so good. It's tater tots, which I put in the air fryer. It's just like five or six tater tots. And then tofu with spinach, red onions, tomatoes. It's just like cherry tomatoes, avocado. And then I put hot sauce on it. And now I'm about to douse it in ketchup. So it doesn't, it's not going to look as pretty, but this is so good. And this is... The best thing that has ever happened to me is having this virtual orientation because I still get to be at home and like it's it's a nice like cruise into working. So tomorrow I go in to my office but I'm still doing virtual training from there. We're just doing they use Athena but they're switching to Epic and it's nice because I've also I use Athena for excuse me, three of my clinical rotations. So I'm, I know how to use Athena. I like wrote notes in Athena. I'm very well like versed in Athena. I never used it as a nurse, but I've used it as like a student NP. And then they're transitioning to Epic, I believe come like December or something. And I've also used Epic when I worked in Tennessee. So I know both the training systems, which is really nice. I never used Epic as a provider, obviously, but Epic is really like easy to use. It's very user friendly, but anyway. I'm gonna eat this, we're on break. I'm probably gonna watch a little bit of like a YouTube video. I'm having the time of my life. I'm getting paid to be here. This is amazing. <laughs> Do you guys remember when like two weeks ago, I said I could never imagine working from home? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm literally eating my breakfast burrito that is falling apart. Watching a YouTube video, I'm on break, okay? I'm on break. I have 10 minutes left of my break. But I'm gonna continue to eat this. I'm hanging out with my dogs. Where's the other one? This is everything and more. I wanna work from home now. Good morning, you guys. Oh, that lighting. Yikes, okay. Oh boy. All right, I just got to work. It's like 745. I am confused because I thought I was working at like the smaller location 
I'm legit like at the hospital location. Um, so I'm a bit confused. I had to park in a parking garage and which is fine. Like everything's fine. I'm just being dramatic. Um, but I haven't parked in a parking garage for work since I worked at um, Erlanger in Chattanooga and I have a little bit of PTSD from it if I'm being completely honest. Um, let me text my manager. Whoops. My manager is really nice. She's gonna come out and meet me and like bring me there because I have no idea where I'm going. Um, parked on the fifth floor. The north elevator. Um, anyway, so that's so nice. She's gonna meet me and walk me there because I would get lost and be embarrassed. So, yeah, the parking garage attendant was mean to me because I didn't have a pass. <laughs> but my manager told me, like, just tell them that you're a new employee. Like, we'll get you all set up today. So, anyway, I'm here. Got the scrubs on. Feeling good. Today's literally just virtual orientation again, but she wanted me to do it in the office. They use... Um, this morning is virtual training, and then this afternoon I start Athena training, which is like the EMR system that they use. Um, I don't know if I told, I think I told you guys this. I've used Athena before, so I don't really like it, honestly. But it's cool. It's whatever. It's only going to be for a little while until we switch to Epic. So, yeah, we're going to do that today. I was so tired waking up this morning. I was like, it's definitely Thursday, right? No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday's the worst day of the week, you know? There's no there's no hope on a Tuesday. There's no hope. <laughs> but anyway, we're here. We're gonna do it. Eating lunch. Watching my redheaded queen, JC Marie. We made it to lunchtime, you guys. We did it. This morning was so long. Taking lunch, we got out late this morning. It's 12.20 right now, but we're out for an hour, so it's all good. I'm just snacking on some pita chips. I'm so hungry. I forgot to take my granola bar in. I'm starving. And then my scrubs today that I'm wearing are from Dolan Scrubs. They're so cute. I forgot to show you guys, but like on the Dolan Scrubs, they have like little kind of like affirmations on them. It's so cute. Like see if you can see on the pants like this is like you are magic sometimes like on the shirt it'll say something and it's so cute i love it okay guys i'm taking a little break it's lunchtime right now but i'm technically in clinics so i am um working at like i can't use my apr and license because i'm not credentialed right now so um but I'm not, I'm just shadowing today. I'm shadowing an APP. And the way that they do it here at my company is you, the APP, which is an advanced practice provider. So it can be a PA or an NP, but most of them are NPs here. So the nurse practitioner works with a doctor. So you run clinic together. And um, a lot of times, like you'll go in first and see the patient, see what's going on, get the updates. Um, start writing the note and all the stuff and then you'll go back out talk to the provider and sometimes maybe they'll go in and see them if they need to and if not then and the um, patient is okay with just seeing the nurse practitioner then they can go and that way clinic runs a bit smoothly but if you know I feel like they need to be seen by the provider or I feel like or they just want to see them with them then we'll go in together and then I'll finish typing up the note while he's like talking to them in the room so I really like it that way and um, it's nice because I have autonomous practice I mean like I'm not an autonomous nurse practitioner but I have autonomy as a nurse practitioner I can do like whatever I want to I can diagnose and treat whatever but especially as a new grad it's nice to just have somebody like coming behind you all the time so yeah I really like the doctor that I'm working with he's super nice unfortunately he doesn't go to the place that I go to like that's going to be my main hub. I'm just in Tampa right now. So he was like, why don't you just stay here? Like, this would be great. <laughs> um, so 
we'll see. You know, you never know that what will happen, but yeah. Just got home from my first day of clinicals. Not clinicals, my first day in the clinic. Um, the dogs are gonna be annoying in the background. Um, so I'll make this quick, but the problem with working at nine to five, and I know that everybody knows this, but it is so annoying to like live your life around it essentially because you have to do everything. Like it just like constrains your day, obviously, which I know this is like everybody deals with this, but hey boys, can you be quiet? Thank you. But like, I always go to the gym. It's really important for me to go to the gym. It's like good for my mental health. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. So I went to the gym this afternoon after clinic and came home. I had to walk the dogs, feed them. And then I took like the shower because I'm my hair was so nasty. And now it's it's 7.30 now and I'm making dinner. So that's not bad. You know, I have like a couple hours before I go to bed. But it, I feel like rushed. So I need to just get into like, it's okay. It doesn't really matter what time I eat. I'm not feeding kids. I'm just feeding myself. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to make pasta because I'm lazy. Lazy girl. I'm gonna use this protein pasta, the spaghetti protein pasta from Barilla, and then I'm gonna make just like a quick little olive oil sauce with spinach, garlic, um, olive oil, and what's it called? Um, red pepper flakes. It's really simple. So I'm just waiting for my water to blow right now, but then like the dishwasher needs to be emptied. I have shows I need to watch. I need to catch up on my housewives. You know what, it's, it's all good. It's Thursday night. It was a great day in the clinic. Such a long day, you guys. I went to Trader Joe's. I got off of work at like 3.30, and I was like, let me go to Trader Joe's because we're running out of things like at home. And it took me, no joke, like 45 minutes to get down there, and then it took me an hour to get home, and I had, I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs are eating dinner. Um, I had a call with a girl who is in high school and she's doing like a project um, on nursing and nurse practitioners and you know she's like interested in that field so I actually missed it last night I felt like the worst person in the entire world I was sitting on the couch at like 9 p.m. our meeting was scheduled for 7 I totally forgot I told and I'm not one to forget like stuff like that I literally totally say I felt so bad. But anyway, I had to get home for this and then I was 10 minutes late for this and it's just a lot, you know? <laughs> but anyway, we have got food. I'm gonna take all of it out and then I'll do a little Trader Joe's haul. Okay, Trader Joe's haul. Got some toaster waffles for Seth. He likes these. I do not drink them. I mean, I do not eat them. Got some oat milk. I'm making like um, a pesto pasta next week and I use the vegan Parmesan cheese from Trader Joe's and it's really good. I love these, these are super good and I think they're pretty low in calorie like if you want a quick snack. Look at these two. This is all day, every day. Hoosier, <laughs> stop. Hey, cut it out. You wanna go outside? <laughs> Why don't you guys go outside for a second? <laughs> go ahead, who's, I mean, go ahead, Camper. Oh, <gasps> there was a bunny. You guys, Camper has killed two bunnies. He's obsessed. Okay, anyway, sorry. I got two things of pasta. I am making a white bean chili. That I'm gonna put this macaroni pasta in next week, and then this is for the pesto pasta. These berries looked so good. I got um, a red onion and a yellow onion. This is for the chili, lemons, basil. That's how I make the pesto. Avocados, um, Persian cucumbers are my favorite. I love them so much. I got some spinach, broccoli, lettuce, green beans some cherry tomatoes, and then some frozen corn for um, the chili recipe. And then this is literally like, this is life-changing stuff, this Japanese fried rice. It's so good. This is all, well, not all of it. Um, I really like this vegan creamy dill dressing. I put it on like a chickpea wrap that I make. You guys know that wrap. So I got chickpeas, a bunch of chickpeas. 
We got some white beans, some um, tomato, like crushed tomatoes, and then tomato paste for the chili salsa. This is also, these roasted red peppers are um, for the chili as well. These are the best little bars that Trader Joe sells in my opinion. Lots of tofu and then two kombuchas. And then I picked up the vanilla pumpkin candle, which is so good if you guys have ever smelled it. I probably should have gotten more than one, but I'm still working on burning through a couple candles that were sent to me. So yeah, that's Trader Joe's haul. Oh, you know what I found out today, you guys? Why does it look so dark? Um, I found out today that I do not have to wear business casual to work, which is so nice. Literally all the APRNs there wear whatever color scrubs they want to and like, it doesn't matter. They technically say that we have to wear royal blue scrubs that have like the um, uh, like the name of the company on them, but nobody wears them. And we wear white coats, which would cover the name of the company anyway. So if anybody said anything, like I could just wear um, my figs or my Dolan, like royal blue scrubs. Honestly, I did order a bunch because they give us like a credit. Um, but I'm just so happy that I don't have to wear business casual clothes. Like I hate business casual. You know what, I broke my last nice glass that I like to pour my kombucha in. But anyway, that's exciting news. No business casual for me, because I, I don't know how I would have done it, honestly. Pour myself a kombucha before I put away these groceries. I'm gonna put on, I'm like so behind in all of my TV shows. I need to watch the new episode of Tell Me Lies. I need to watch um, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Cheers to the weekend, guys. Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday morning. And it's like 9.30 right now. I'm actually just making like a little game for my dog so I can sit down and enjoy my coffee without <laughs> this morning. Um, but you guys have probably heard of this. It's super simple. They basically take a towel and you put treats like in it and roll it up so they have to unroll it. They'll probably get through this super quick, but I'm using these pumpkin maple bacon flavored from Trader Joe's. They're obsessed with them. They love these things and I should have picked up some more yesterday, but I didn't. Hey now, are you excited? So you take it, like just lay them down and then put it down here so you can, or could you see better? <laughs> and then just do a couple rolls. Mm. scatter them throughout and then it makes them look forward they have to use their brain which is good because that makes them more tired than them, them just like running around all the time but I have an eye appointment today <laughs> which is so unfortunate because that's the reality of like working Monday through Friday now is they have to make appointments for things on the weekend and like who wants to go get their eyes checked and in florida i don't know if this is everywhere when i lived in other states they didn't do this all the time but in florida they always dilate your eyes which sucks because it stay they stay dilated for a couple of hours <laughs> and it's really uncomfortable um and then they just like expect you to drive afterwards they're like okay see you later the heck and why do we have to do this every time like i have i don't have glaucoma i don't have any risk factors for glaucoma like i think that's what they're checking is the um, intraocular pressure but i don't know anyway okay so that's all done and we'll do one more for the camper <laughs> okay camper sit down let her sit very good Camper's gonna do the little one. Who's your you stay? Who's your stay? Good boy. And then we're gonna do this one, okay? Oh no, that's not you, Camper. You do this one. Camper, do this one. Me too. How do you do it? I'm gonna figure it out. Let's put it this way. There you go. <laughs> Camper does not get it. He's not as intelligent as he sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. Hold on. Or actually, you just figured out that's better for you. Anyway. Oh, I'm going to enjoy the coffee that I made. 
an ice roll my days probably watch a youtube video have a like very relaxing morning <laughs>